A new coffee shop in an old location is brewing for a weekend opening. Sherry Roberts has been grinding the past few weeks to get Nana's Coffee Rocks ready for business. Roberts, former manager of Speckle Paul Rock, located inside the Ink Space building on South Lawrence Street, bought the shop from the original chain's owners soon after Starbucks opened in the new Broad Street Commons development. While she has worked in and managed coffee shops for more than a decade, this is Roberts' first time owning a business. Roberts got her start as a roaster and barista at Cactus Creek 16 years ago and managed the Speckle Paul for two years. In the weeks since the closure of Speckle Paul, Roberts has installed an ice machine and new sink and rearranged a bit behind the counter. In addition to the drinks with which customers were already familiar with, in addition to the drinks with which customers are already familiar with, Nana's Coffee Rocks will feature locally inspired blends named after Hamlet, Ellerby, and Rockingham. Robert says she is looking forward to reopening on Saturday, April 1st, though she still has a little more work to do, including preparing the iced coffee and cold brew. Store hours will be from 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturdays. Richmond County residents are encouraged to come get a taste of nature at the annual Wild Foods Cook-Off. The event, now in its 21st year, features a variety of dishes made from wild meats and vegetables. Paige Burns-Clark, director of the North Carolina Cooperative Extension's Richmond County office, said there is an open invitation to enter the contest and no dishes will be accepted after 6.30 p.m. The most commonly entered category, she said, is the meat division, which includes wild turkey, deer, wild boar, frogs, and fish of any animal hunted. The animals don't even have to be native to the region or killed by the cook, as long as the meat was given to the preparer. The vegetable category includes salads and casseroles made from wild plants, and the desserts can be made from nuts and berries. Those ingredients must be found in the wild and foraged. Burns Clark said the event typically draws from 80 to 100 people. Judging will be done by all those assembled, Burns Clark said. There will be a winner for each category and an overall winner. Those bringing dishes get two free tickets. For tasters, tickets are $5 and children under 6 get in for free. The event starts at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, April 4th at the Sandhills Rod and Gun Club Clubhouse. That is located at 149 OG Reynolds Road in LRB. A pivotal SAC series sweep came to fruition for the Richmond Raider baseball team on Thursday. Closing the door on the two game set against Union Pines, the Raiders used a five run fourth inning to earn a 9 3 victory. It was the Raiders' second straight series sweep against SAC opponents. Another strong start, this time by junior James Eason, yielded 6.1 innings of work. He allowed eight hits and gave up just three runs while striking out seven batters. Eason, who reached the pitch count early in the seventh, retired the Vikings in order in the second and fourth innings, getting help from junior catcher Kane Hunsucker, who snagged a runner trying to take second. Helping himself defensively in the bottom of the third, Eason picked off a runner at first to end the frame. Inheriting a runner on first with one out in the seventh, senior Ethan Locklear pitched point two innings to close it out. Each of his recorded outs were strikeouts. Richmond, which is currently third in the standings, will have another crucial two-game series next week against conference foe second place, Lee County. The Raiders will travel to Tuesday and host the Yellow Jackets on Thursday. Both games are slated for a 7 p.m. start. Getting back in the win column on Thursday, the Richmond Raider tennis team completed the regular season sweep of Hope County. Facing the Bucks for the second time this spring, the Raiders rolled to an 8-1 win. In the team's first meeting on March 7th, Richmond picked up a shout-out win. Taking five of the six matches in singles play in the conference match, the Raiders played the best of three sets. With the win secured, entering doubles action, Richmond swept the three matches for good measure. Number four sophomore Jordan Jacobs was the lone rare to shut out his opponent, cruising to a 6-0 and 6-0 win over Iber de la Cruz. Ty Murray and Will Whitley both won their singles matches by big scores. Richmond will travel to Union Pines on Tuesday and try to sweep the Vikings. Singles matches will start at 4 p.m. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes. Well, maybe. 
When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to you live by Weather Report County. Hope your Friday is going well. It started off a little bit chilly this morning, but as temperatures continue to rise up throughout the day, it's been a much better afternoon. And as we get into the evening, we're going to be continuing to see some 70s, a little bit more 60s in the later parts of the evening, but not quite as chilly as we saw uh, last night. So we're looking at 6 o'clock, 73 degrees the next hour. 9 o'clock, 68, and 11 p.m. will be at 66 degrees. We got sunset at 7.39 p.m. with a waxing of his moon phase out tonight. Uh, some cloudy skies for this evening with a slight chance of rain for about 8 o'clock-ish, about a 30% chance happening around there. Look at tomorrow, though, we got a slightly larger chance of rain popping up for tomorrow afternoon, looking coming in between 12 and 2 p.m., uh, roughly between a tenth of an inch to... Uh, Two tenths of an inch coming in for rain. Uh, Cumberland County a high of 77, a low of 64. Hope County a high of 77 and a low of 63. Over in Robeson County, a little bit warmer on the low, high of 77, a low of 65. Scotland County just one degree lower on the low. Up in Moore County, a high of 77, a low of 62, with Richard County here seeing a high of 78 and a low of 63. Same for Anson County as well as Marlboro. Looking at the forecast for the next seven days, again, chance of rain tomorrow, high of, six, excuse me, high of 78, low of 63. Sunshine all day long for Sunday with a high of 68 and a low of 25. Followed up by Monday with party cloud skies at a high of 74 and a low of 45. We are going to be hitting the 80s for a couple of days here in the middle of next week. Tuesday, cloudy skies with a high of 80 and a low of 56, and those clouds will linger into Wednesday, high of 85, low of 63. And those clouds will turn from white puffy ones to dark gray ones on Thursday with a 60% chance of precipitation, high of 82, low of 65. And it will have a pretty big drop in temperatures on Friday with a high of 66 and a low of 55. And that will also be brought with a 60% chance of rain. So that is going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5 for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richard County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on Monday. Good night and have a great weekend, Richard County.